Oh, now trivia. trivia to me is different than trivia to you. <laughs> We've got a big cash prize. Okay. A hundred dollar Sizzler gift card. <gasps> wow. What? Oh, I wow, I have our Sizzler. 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 <laughs> Wait, what's Sizzler's? <laughs> oh, I used to live at Sizzler. Our boomers are gonna be asking the questions, but it's up to our Gen Zers to find out the answers. Mm. What? Every round you fail, you're gonna lose $10 from that gift card. You gotta give me everything. Set your bar of expectation low, okay? <laughs> so there's 10 questions. There are 11 questions, so oh. you might end up owing me money if you fail all of them. <gasps> no! Don't oh, fail. I'm good. I'm chilling. Okay. Name the four Beatles. Do you not know the names of the four Beatles? I don't know anything about the Beatles. This is very easy. I grew up with the Beatles, so. I love the Girl. music. I still listen to the Beatles. There's no one like them. They're still popular today. Girls would scream and swoon. <laughs> Rhoda, did you scream and swoon? I probably did. I did attend them at the Dodger Stadium. Were you a big fan of the Beatles? I was. I still am. We got Zane. <laughs> That's One Direction. Other name for bathroom. Think of a man's name, bathroom. Okay, okay. Luckily, my dad raised me with the Beatles. Every, like, his favorite band. Sounds like. <gasps> In his name is a jewelry item. A, an earring back, a necklace, a ring. With another letter coming after that. There's a Richie in here. No. <laughs> Ringo, Ringo. There you go. You Ringo? Got that one. You got it. A person who helps carry the coffin into and out of the church. <gasps> got it. I okay. guess. Okay. Wait, okay. that was a great clue. Oh, uh, there's an Archie in here. Not even close. <laughs> Not even close. Sounds like Gorge. George. Okay. You ready? You ready for my answer? All right. Leonard, Paul, Ringo, and James. John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, Ringo Starr. Okay, John Lennon, Sam Ring. And then there's a Tom. There's always a Tom in every group, right? There's gonna be a Tom. Uh, Ron, Hogg, George, and Ringo. Hello, my name's Paul McCartney. Paul? I play mm -hmm. bass guitar. He played the Hello, bass guitar? Uh, I'm George Harrison, and George. I play solo guitar. George! Yeah. This is Ringo Starr, and I play drums. Oh. This is John Lennon, and I play better guitar. <laughs> I feel like I hey, missed out. Hey, we got 50%, out. that's not bad. <laughs> yeah, I got two. <laughs> no, I'm, I think that's yeah. amazing you got two of them. Probably said oh, one or something. It was nice to hear their voices. <laughs> what Apollo mission resulted in the first moon landing? Do you remember this, Cynthia? I do. Uh, it was July 1969. I don't even think my mother was born! <laughs> I remember exactly where I was sitting. I was more interested in my boyfriend than what was going on, I guess. All right, is it a double digit number? Yes. Apollo um, 10? Keep going. Nine. Th there's a lot of missions. And so I don't know if it was 11, I don't know if it was 13. Keep going. Eight. The other direction. 12. In between. 11. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> well, then it should be Apollo 1, maybe. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. I think Apollo 11 was the movie. The first man walked on the moon. It was brilliantly fantastic. <laughs> this is the answer I'm locking in, Apollo 11. Boom, Apollo 13. I think it's Apollo 11. So we're going to say Apollo 1. And I put a Roman numeral because I think that makes it sound more official. Space Race was fun. That's cool. Yeah, I'm just thinking about it. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Gary! Apollo 11. Uh, what happened to the you first time? Oh, got one, got one part of I'm it. I'm gonna add like one more tick there. <laughs> one small step for man. Whoa. This is like real footage? Okay, which US president was assassinated in 1963? I should know this, shouldn't I? For whatever reason, I was thinking of Ronald Reagan. He had an assassination attempt, and I was thinking of the 80s. No, please give me every single hint you can. Okay, here we go Charades again. The first everything. name okay. is... <sighs> yes, okay. For this one, I remember I was at school, at Hollywood High School, and I was devastated. Yeah, I'm thinking of, no, was Cold War the 70s? Cold War was the 70s, no. First name, middle name, yeah. last name, right? And the, he's famous for three initials. We're just gonna say names and just give me the look, okay? Yeah. Thomas Jefferson. John F. Kennedy? All right, John F. Kennedy. Yep. The man himself, John F. Kennedy. Give me my nine dollars. John F. Kennedy. And this is the bulletin that has just cleared uh, from Dallas. Walter Cronkite. Two priests who were in mm. the emergency room 
where President Kennedy lay after being taken from the Dallas street corner where he was shot, say that he is dead. Wait, so why did they kill him? Remember that? Walter Cronkite, that's Walter Cronkite, who was the foremost news reporter of the day. That was a world-changing, life-changing moment there. Who played Don Corleone in 1972's The Godfather, the first one? Shoot. I know his name, but I don't know his name. And also, I remember I cut class to, to, to take the bus <laughs> to Hollywood to watch this movie at the Pantages. Wow. He looks so familiar. I don't know who that is. First name, there's a, when you're sport fishing, it's a big fish that men want, <laughs> people want to catch. My first thing is carp, and that's not it. I'm going to make him an offer you can't refuse. OK, I feel like it starts with a C. No, uh, one up. R B. They said that he uh, stuffed marbles in his mouth to get that jowly effect. Very clever idea. Think of Louis Vuitton. Like uh, Christian Dior is a famous. What do they do when when they put the ranch's logo on on a cow with a with a brand? What does his name rhyme with? I don't know if you've ever heard of. Like, it's like a, a bra, a bandeau. All right, is it brand? Do. Marlon Brando! There you go. King Arthur, the court music magician. That's his last name, Bando? Well, sounds like. Van Gogh? No. Michael Brando? All right, Marlon Brando. I just wrote down Salvador. I don't know if that's anything close to his name. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Invited me to your house for a cup of coffee. You come to me the day of my daughter's wedding. Even though my wife has godmother to you. He has you. marbles in his mouth? But let's be frank here. Yeah. Such a great moment. You never wanted my friendship. Man, okay, tonight I'm watching it, Gary. Gotta watch one and two. This 1972 political scandal led to the resignation of President Nixon. I am not a crook. I never told a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, I don't know exactly what he did. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna need help, but I think I, I, I should know this. This exposed the terrible things he did. He was taping conversations. Okay, so he lied about something. This guy was such a sleazeball. Yeah. He, and he was totally nuts up. It got its name from the name of the building that it took place in. The first part of the name of the building <laughs> is something that you drink. Wine. Uh, clear. Water. And the second part is like a door that you open out to the yard. Yeah. All right, ready for this? Here yeah. we go. Watergate. Watergate. I'm not a crook. Um, Watergate. Yeah. Bush did it. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the Watergate break-in. <gasps> That's her, Barbara Walters. Look at her. Widening cast of characters. Watergate. Wow. Uh, Watergate break-in. There he is. Twitter. Hmm. <laughs> <Leave office laughs> Famous last like words. Completed is abhorrent to every instinct in my body. Oh my gosh. But as president, oh, wow. I must put the interests of America there first. Is. Tricky Dicky. <laughs> you didn't like this man. Oh no. <laughs> no one liked this you man. You were like, nope. She's beautiful though. They were allowed to wear that back then. The news now is so different. I don't remember her dressing so funky. But this iconic TV opening is from which 1970s show? My name is Rhoda, and I was a good friend of this character and then it was spun off to a TV series named Rhoda, which you probably never heard of either, but that is my name. The first show about how strong women is. I don't think I know I, this. I genuinely don't think I know it I, at all. What was the importance of this show? An independent woman. She had the whole nation, the whole world behind her. We loved her. Okay, um, how many words is it? How do we think? A, she had three names. Oh. I love Lucy. No, this is after. Lucy oh, I'm is. too early, wow. <laughs> I'm trying to think of just Names. The first name rhymes with Barry. Larry. And it's Mary. a woman's name. Mary. Air. What is a female horse? That's not a bitch, is it? That's a, a dog in my horse. ex best friend. Roseanne is a female name, that's from the 90s. I Love Lucy, that doesn't count. Mm -hmm. Not Cheers, that's from 80s and 90s. And the show is named after her real name Marietta. Mary. Mary had a little lamb. Squares <laughs> of something that are glued down Tiles. on the floor. Yeah. So the one that does that would be called a? Tyler. Oh, what, 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 a, man, a man or a woman that, that sews clothes for you? You're given a serving and you say, I like that so much, I want more. Crosses. No? No, just. 
scared. That's not right. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah, this is gonna be 70 bucks. I'm like, oh, it's going down. <laughs> Mary Tyler Moore. Carrie Ann Sewing Smith. <laughs> okay, I originally put Mary Tyler Moore. All right. I yeah, genuinely have here. no clue. We. Yeah. Mary Tyler Moore. Oh, Mary Tyler oh. Moore. <laughs> oh, this is nice. How will you make it <laughs> We're going to the scissors like. Yeah, you, would think, look at that. you would think this was the Gen Z and I was the boomer. Definitely. Gary. <laughs> <laughs> In what decade did the Berlin Wall fall? Oh, I was quizzed on this so many times God. as a kid. You're going to guess both the decade and then put a year. If you get the year right, I'll give you $10 back. Ooh. Okay. Okay, Berlin. That's Germany. Um, Is 1800s too far? Probably don't know what the Berlin Wall was, but I've heard one it. time it divided West Germany and East Germany, and so families that lived on both sides of it couldn't even see each other. Mr. So, Gorbachev tear down this wall. Yes, he okay. Said. It's the US against the Russian, really. That, that's always all about, and also. Was that uh, Stalin? <clears throat> was uh, that around that time? No, that's Reagan. Yeah, he's like, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Okay. No, I can't no. look at oh, it. Oh no, does he mean like a little hint? Well, it was during my lifetime. I was born after the 1800s. So this has got to be like the 60s. You're going too far back. <laughs> after the 1980s? And before the turn of the century. Oh, okay, so, oh, 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 okay. <laughs> I can't do this, I'm not good at it. I don't know. 1982. 1989. 1986. It's hard to believe that it was not until the 80s, but I think it's very possible. This was the yes! Yay! Yeah, yeah, good oh, job! Oh, I, know good, I told uh, you! Dang it, so I didn't get the year right, but I got the got decade. The decade. I had 1988 originally! So oh, exciting. This was just, we were just cheering and, oh. Oh, that was so great when they tore that down. It's so symbolic of other things we need to tear down. Freddie Mercury was the lead singer of which band? Queen. You should know that. Is it's the group iconic? One word, very iconic. It's uh, the name of a monarch. Not the king. On and on and on <laughs> and on. We are the champions, my friend. Oh, Queen Elizabeth. 20,000 people would respond in I'm you. always so scared because I might be no! wrong. Queen? Yay, we didn't lose money. There was a great movie about him recently. Wow. Queen works. Just kill the man. Those are the music. <laughs> the movie was so good. Now he's dead. Mama. I was scared to say the word. I was like, I'm going to say the wrong word. Begun. I thought it was Mama Just Killed a Man. Who starred as Benjamin Braddock in the 1967 classic, The Graduate? Now, that's an old movie, but you probably listened to the song. Wait, that's the photo you choose? Oh my, what? No. What? He's cute though. That actually doesn't look like him. First name. When you okay. clean house, um, you get rid of the little particles. Dust? Yes. He looks like the dude well, who played young. Willy Wonka. Out. In. <gasps> okay, um, he was in the movie um, The Godfather. Kramer versus Kramer with Meryl Streep. Oh my god, my brain is like a fragmented puzzle. This movie, um, he was like the um, a spectrum with, 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 with Tom Cruise. He was the brother of Tom Cruise. Oh, oh yes, 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 I know exactly what you're talking about. Something it's like the puff. three little pigs, so he... <sighs> Huff? I don't know his name, but the fact that I know the actor, I know it's Rain Man. Dustin Scott. Dustin Hoffman. That would be a tough one for you. Jesse yeah. Tucker. <laughs> Streetcar named Desire. <laughs> Here we are. You got me into your house. You give me a drink. You... I love uh, these older movies. You start opening up your personal life to me and tell me your husband won't be home for hours. Oh, she's a little horny. Yeah. That is one of the most famous shots it. in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Mrs. Robinson. <laughs> she's bad. Like, I would have blamed him. She's pretty. Which American serial killer confessed to 30 homicides committed between 1974 and 1978? Jeffrey Dahmer. It's either John Wayne Gacy or Ted Bundy. It's such a small window that the person I'm thinking had a bigger window of killing people. Yeah, it was scary. You know, people didn't want to go out, you know, you gotta, you know, make sure everybody's accounted for at night, you know. I would assume Ted Bundy because he's more 
Yeah, because he, I feel like he got away with I, I don't, but he, I don't think he ever admitted it. How did he kill his victims? Well, I think he strangled. Strangled? Yeah. Damn. It's either J or a C for the first name, I'm thinking. Did you watch the series? Yes, I, I'm disgusted. I absolutely despise Jeffrey Dahmer. If you dressed your kid as Jeffrey Dahmer, I, like, how? Jeffrey Dahmer? This is the more famous one, I think, so I'm going with Ted Bundy. Scranton Strangler. What's going through my mind? Right there we go, Ted Bundy. Wow. The minutes oh, and hours that I have left. Ted Bundy. No. He's a smart guy. Oh yeah, a lot of them are. Yeah. Very creepy. This comedian hosts the very first SNL in October 11, 1975. I did not realize Is that the guy? he hosted the first one. That's him. The very first Saturday Night Live. Who is this? He looks like a BG. I remember watching it uh, after you watched Mary Tyler Mall. <laughs> it was the same Baby night. Bill. Is he known for the? Da, da, uh, is he like? That, is that him? He broke down the censorship of words on TV in his bit. Not John, not Paul, oh. and not Ringo. All right, I'm gonna go in Lenny or George. Well, it's got like an automobile in the first syllable. Mercedes. To drive <laughs> to. To steer, to turn. The kind of thing Haunting. that you're driving in is called a car. You draw it. Straight line. Car lane, car line, car. George Costanza. No, wait. <laughs> Paul Co <laughs> you, What? All right. George C. <laughs> <laughs> oh, George Carlin. <laughs> George Carlin? Yes! Kind of glad that we're on. See if I, right. Yeah, if I heard him beforehand, so yeah, dang it. All the football. Football's kind of nice. They changed it a little bit. They moved the hash marks in. Guys found them and smoked them anyway. <laughs> he was drug culture, known for his drug culture humor. Thing, but back in those days, it was heavy censorship. Really? They'd get bleeped. I feel like I'm. I need to educate myself. I knew the Beatles' names. Okay, when they said those, that's. Uh, wow. Okay. Any final thoughts? Did you have fun? Relief. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, Gary. Yes. You did Thank break you. you listened too. I did. I was putting. I was understanding what you were saying, and it's because you're amazing. Thank you guys for watching this episode. What other try not to fail videos would you like to see? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for more try not to videos. Bye. Bye.